Hi, this is Wayne Bilal with another Smart Profit Maximizing Moment. Um, today we're going to talk about how to take a worry-free vacation. By the way, happy Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. I did. I rested. And I was part of the ridiculous number of people who went and saw the Last Avengers movie. Was it Endgame or something like that? Yeah, I should know the title, but I didn't. I got dragged. But it was an enjoyable movie, though. It was three hours. I think it could have been two. <laughs> Anyways, neither here nor there. I hope if you didn't see it, go see it. If you've been in part of the Avenger crowd. Um, anyways, let me introduce myself a little bit better. My, my Again, like I said, my name is William Bilal. I'm the founder of a local CPA firm. I've uh, been have, have started it in 1991, so I've been doing it a long time um, on my own. I've been really before that, if you could read the diploma, it's back in the 70s, okay? So for all that time, I've been helping small business owners. And right now we've specialized in three things. Can't really say specialize. We concentrate focus on three things. CPAs don't specialize, supposedly. We don't have that lawyer ability to take a test and specialize in areas. So we gotta be careful what we say. So we focus. I focus on helping small business owners with three things. One, doing their tax returns in a way that avoids audits. We'll have to do that someday. I'll have to go over the audit uh, the way things that I recommend to my clients to avoid audits and to win audits if you are audited. Okay, the second thing we do is we do tax planning. Over the last three years alone, we've saved our clients over $4.3 million legally. That's money that they can use for their vacation, send their kids to school, fund their retirement, buy a new car, buy a new house, reinvest in their business, and grow their business faster rather than sending it to the IRS. And we know government just pretty much wastes half the money they receive. You know, it's simple as that. It doesn't really help the economy. The economy we're doing right now is proof of that. Third thing we do is part of the reason why I do these what, these uh, Facebook Lives every, every morning, Monday through Friday. Um, we help business owners grow their business so that they can be successful. And to do that, you need profits. Profits is what drive it. But today we're going to talk about worry-free vacation. Um, every year I struggled and still not as much, right? I've learned the advantage of having that vacation. Um, need a break, need to recharge, but I struggle with it because I'm a business owner. I'm like all business owners. We all struggle with it. I mean, it's, what if one of, I'm gonna lose a sale? What if one of my clients has a problem? How do I solve it? Um, something I could, you know, my mind goes through the thousands of things that can go wrong and I'm not alone. This is from 2013, but I, I haven't really updated it. But I doubt it's changed because I talk to business owners all the time and they struggle with the same thing. All right. Uh, a survey by, survey by American Express Open in their small business monitor showed that fewer than half of small business owners, about 49%, plan to take a week long vacation. That had come down from 67% in 2006 and 54% the year before. I doubt it's changed. It might tick up a little bit better because the economy's turned around. When the economy is good, Business owners are more willing to take a vacation, okay? Business owners, we all know we should take a vacation. I told you why we don't. We're worried we're going to miss out on everything. So here are some things that I've learned to do and I recommend when somebody's worried about going on a vacation, okay? Choose your vacation dates carefully. You know what's busy time for you. You know when things are happening. Every business is a farm, <laughs> pretty much. You plant seeds, you harvest, okay? As a CPA, I'm not going to go in March and April because obvious reasons, but I'm also not going to go in September, October, November, December. September, October, extensions, November, December, tax planning. So I've eliminated half the year. The other half is wide open. So that's number one. A florist isn't going to go in February or in May, Mother's Day. Those are their two big things, Valentine's and Mother's Day. If you're selling, if, <laughs> if your store is, sells Christmas-related stuff, toys or anything to do with Christmas, you're not going in November or December. <laughs> All right. Uh, don't leave major projects pending. I've learned that one a hard time. Just finish the pending ones. Work a little extra before if you have to, but get rid of the major projects, okay? And don't start anything. Don't start anything. You know, you'll be better off when you come back. You'll be fresh. You'll be able to do better. Um, notify your best customers in advance. Do the 80-20 we talked about and uh, identify the 80% the of your top 20. Yeah, I'm not talking about calling everybody. Just call the ones that, you know, you have a really good personal relationship with, that they're important to you and you're important to them. Let them know you're out of town and that you're, you've left instructions with your staff to, to interrupt you or call you. 
but let them know you're on vacation and it may not be as fast as it normally would be. All right. Make arrangements to handle problems remotely. Bring a laptop, bring an iPad. It's going to happen. And it's happened to me. Somebody has a quick problem and I'm able to jump in, take 10, 15 minutes, half hour, settle it, get it away, get it off my mind. Don't make a big, don't do this often. Make sure it really is something that shouldn't wait or can't wait until you come back. If you've done the first thing and got it at the right time, eh, it shouldn't be anything that can't wait till you come back. All right. Schedule small. If you're going to work and you know you're going to have to do some things like a phone call or things like that, schedule them in advance, small blocks of time. Make sure that they're really important. Look, taking a break from your business can seem risky, but I guarantee you it's important. I've learned that the hard way. I've gone a couple of years without vacation. And then last year took a, you know, took one decent sized one and three or four small ones on, on purpose so that I could get things done. And it really helped me. So, hey, until next time, this is Wayne Blau saying let's make this our most profitable year ever. And give me a call if you need some help or email me. Uh, look at the notes down below. You can find me or shoot me a Facebook messenger. Be happy to help you make this your most profitable year ever. Thank you very much. Yeah,